A region in central Iran was targeted by an apparent drone strike amid heightened tensions with Israel. And for the latest, we are joined live by CTV's Scott Hurst. Scott, what's the latest? And Jamie, we are closely following the latest developments in the CTV National Newsroom, a potentially dangerous escalation in a widening Middle East conflict. And we're getting initial reaction from G7 foreign ministers who had already been meeting in Italy. And we're hearing from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken saying the United States reportedly got last-minute information about the attack, but U.S. Secretary of State Blinken is denying any U.S. involvement. Now, Israel reportedly striking Iran in a drone attack overnight in what appears to be a retaliatory strike after weeks of escalating tension between the two countries. Iranian state media reporting explosions near the central city of Isfahan, which is home to a large air base, a major missile production complex, and several nuclear facilities as well. However, the global nuclear watchdog saying no nuclear sites were damaged. Here's more from U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. I'm not going to speak to that, except to say that the United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again, it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions, um, to de-escalate from any potential conflict. And, Jamie, this all comes less than a week after Iran launched hundreds of missiles and drones at Israel in retaliation for an Israeli airstrike on its diplomatic compound in Syria. We're also hearing this morning from Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie, also at that meeting of G7 foreign ministers. And in a statement, she says, in the light of these strikes reported in Iran and following our meeting this morning, I join my G7 colleagues in urging all parties to work to prevent further escalation. Jamie, if the region wasn't already on high alert. It leaves the region now bracing for further escalation, of course, after months of fighting between Israel and Hamas, particularly in the Gaza region. That's CTV's Scott Hurst. We appreciate the update. Thank you.